Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about Michter's Celebration Sour Mash. Now before we get started in talking about and sipping the celebration, we're gonna, I'm gonna intro you to Nate. Nate is of Single Mall Daily. He is a whiskey connoisseur. He is all the, all the above when he speaks about whiskey. Really appreciate that. Very, very nice to meet you guys. This is gonna be quite the treat. Uh, we've barely had a chance to get into this and already it's something truly phenomenal and very, very rare. So I'm very excited to share it with Blake today. Now just an FYI, George is on vacation, so that's why he's not here. And just so you know guys, this is a really special, really expensive bottle. So <laughs> he's probably hating life right now that he can have this but I think me and Nate are gonna take over, right? I'm sorry, George. I'll try to get you something good for next time, brother. All right, now on to it. So guys, I mean, anybody who knows whiskey, who knows about whiskey, is aware that this bottle right here is a rarity. I think it's, there's less than 300, maybe less. I think this is 222 of like 250, right? Around there? Correct, correct, absolutely. But I think, so I'm more curious, like, tell me, dude, like, what is special about this bottle? So this one here, First of all, it's, well, let's start with the gold plating on the top and on the bottle itself. The 250 is extremely limited. They have only done two versions of this bottle. It comes in this absolutely stunning and spectacular case. Kick ass, dude. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Very rare to see something so extravagant for a whiskey. You never really see anything like this. Generally, you will see it in a scotch whiskey aspect. So in a bourbon, it's fantastic to see that they've really gone high end. Yeah, and it's, it's awesome. So even after you guys finish the bottle, you guys can keep the bottle on display and, you know, do what you want with it, right? I mean, this is kind of just <laughs> this a, is a mantelpiece Put it on the mantle. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, dude. Now, I think I've seen this on Billions, right? Tell me, if you guys watch Billions, comment below. Okay, Billions is an awesome show. But I think I've seen it on Billions, and I think, it, I think I've seen it go for about $5,000. Like, no joke, $5,000. I think it was... So I think you might be a bit off on the price because uh, you are right about billions. It's true, but Wags did order this for $800 an ounce on the show, making the bottle roughly $20,800 retail. So this would be what we are sipping on today. And if you get a chance to sip it, I strongly advise that you do. If you can get into that kind of range, then I would recommend buying a bottle versus having one at the bar. That's All right, sure. guys. So if you, if if you guys have a few extra bucks or if you want to put your house up for sale, <laughs> buy a bottle. No, but this is, this is a celebration. This is a very special whiskey. This is something that, you know, you're not going to drink every day. You're going to drink maybe once or twice in your lifetime. So you got to really appreciate it. With that, we, uh, we already had a little sample. We, we're, we're, we're already ahead of the game. Um, so I don't want to just jump into it. I had, a, I had to be prepared, right? Oh, absolutely. With something like this, you've got to be prepared. Definitely. And allow me. So George and I are already familiar with the whole process of, of tasting whiskeys right. but again we are with seeing them all daily so I'm gonna call you that from now on I'm not gonna I call you Nate okay that. so um, Nate is done yeah what what do you recommend now for this specific bottle how should we start so I, I recommend the way we're doing it is completely straight neat and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glass and you're gonna smell but when you smell I would love it if you would keep your mouth open while you're smelling so a key here is that you're gonna get a lot more coming through if you've got your mouth open than if you had your mouth closed so when you take it bring it up to your nose and tell me what do you get on the nose I, I'm just curious to see I, what you get instantly I get it's very sweet yeah I feel absolutely. I mean I feel like it's gonna be refreshing yeah, um, it, it, absolutely. Like like a hint of vanilla. It's not overwhelming mm -hmm, with mm -hmm, vanilla, mm -hmm. but I do get a lot of, I mean, like a small taste of it. There's a very open floral note on there as well. So if you if you are smelling something there, there it's going to be a little bit open. It's going to be the floral notes. In Definitely. There well. I think if you take your nose away from the glass, it does smell more. Right, right, like right. Floral. I, I do get more of that floral scent. It's beautiful. Go I'm, ahead I'm already excited, man. Give it a it's try fun. and let me know what you think. Salon, cheers. I think the best way to put this is heat with no burn. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, I get, like right away, I get a, not a punch in the mouth, but I get, I get this filming that, this film, that it is taking over. Yes, absolutely. But, but then when it goes down, oh, guys, <laughs> one, I mean, if not the smoothest I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The way this comes down, you've got caramel on the palate. If you notice that, the nice cinnamon coming through. And then when you're hitting your palate and hitting your throat, you start to get this cocoa starting to come out on the back end of it. And the way it comes down, 
a lot of whiskeys that you taste will actually end up having a burn and, and that's what you avoid here with something like this. It's a, all heat but no burn. The way it comes down, the finish is really, really beautiful. Perfectly mellowed, very, very nice finish here. Yeah, and this is a, Mictus is an American brand, correct? Right? It's the oldest American brand, actually. Funny enough, not a lot of people know that Mictus is the oldest American brand. So, I mean, for them to be doing this is very special. I mean, it's... Incredibly. There's not, I mean, guys, there's not very many whiskey brands in general. I mean, from, you name the type of whiskey, Scotch to, you know, to American to, they're doing what they're doing, especially with this bottle right here. This is. Yeah, absolutely. There's only two versions of this, the 2013 and the 2016. So we are lucky to be in the presence of one of a few hundred bottles, period, to ever hit the market. With yes. that, let's go for one more. Absolutely. Cheers. Second time around, I, I didn't get the, the initial burn. Right. I feel like, I guess my taste is already uh, acclimated to... To the bottle? The bottle, yeah. yeah. So it, it, second time around, it was even smoother. I mean, Absolutely, and it's got time to open up a little bit, oxidize a little bit in the glass, so you're gonna get a lot more as it comes through. Guys, I mean, if you go to any bar and you see this on your bar and you have a few extra bucks, by that I mean five to a thousand dollars, I highly recommend you guys sample it. It's like one of the best, if not the best, on the market today. The Mictor Celebration Cask, Sour Mash. Thank you so much to Blake Scott for having me here. I'm ecstatic to be on Gents Lounge, this is amazing. And thank you so much to Mictors for the incredible celebration cask. I don't know what to say, except it's a real treat. Now guys, let's take Nate. Nate's here in town. We're gonna be okay. filming a few more whiskeys. By a few more, I think about five more. So <laughs> we're gonna have a lot more tasting coming around with Nate. George, sorry that you're gone. But George, I'm sorry. George, you'll be back, but Nate won't be here anymore. <laughs> so th thanks for watching and thanks guys.